Hey guys, what's up? It's the HG Tech Buzz here today, and I'm going to be starting a new series. It's going to be called Computer Basics. So that speaks for itself. I'm just going to be talking about different computer components, the very basics, just concepts. I'm not going to be talking about the math of it all, or, you know, exactly how it works down to a fine science, but you get the idea here. Now, this can be useful for you whenever you're trying to buy a computer. So without any more talking about what this series is going to be about, I'm going to talk about first thing on my list. So what is this? CPU. CPU is a central processing unit. Sometimes people refer to the tower under their desk as a CPU, the central processing unit, central processing tower, but a CPU is also the component inside the computer that's the brain. It processes everything. It adds the numbers and subtracts and multiplies and does all that computer stuff with codes and that's basically the heart of your computer and it's the most important component. Also one of the most expensive components. So an example whenever you need the CPU is just about everything. If you go to open up a program, the CPU will work to get the program open. When you turn on your computer, the CPU works. Also the hard drive and you know all the other components booting up, but the CPU works to get it on. It does all, it executes the actions of the computer, keeps everything up and running. It's the brain. We wouldn't function without a brain either, so that's a good way to compare. Every computer has one. That's a no-brainer. There are different companies that make them. Two of them off the top of my head would be AMD and Intel. Both of them have their ups and downs. I may make a video comparing those two companies. Every CPU is rated differently by its speed, obviously. They call this the clock speed, and this is measured in hertz, which is something dealing with electricity. It means cycles per second. So let's say you have a 2 gigahertz CPU. Giga means billion, hertz means cycles per second, so that means 2 billion cycles per second. Now, when you think of 2 billion in real world terms, that's a lot. When you're talking computer terms, I mean, it's, uh, it's rated differently. I'm not going to talk about that though. That's pretty much the very basics of a CPU. There's more to it. For example, a CPU will often be classified as how many cores it has. You may hear people say dual core CPU. Don't see many single cores anymore. There were single cores in mobile devices a little while back, but most mobile devices now have dual and quad core CPUs. And then you can also get octa in some devices including mobile and computers. So what this means is it means that there's actually more physical cores on a CPU than just one component. And what this helps you do, it helps the CPU to balance power between the two cores or four cores, how many ever cores you have on the CPU when you're doing things on the computer. So if you have Internet Explorer open on one tab and then you have Word open on the other tab, those, if you have a dual core CPU, it'll balance those two programs on different sides. And then you can also also have CPUs that support multi-threading and turbo boost. So what this means is threading means that your operating system, whatever you have, Windows, Mac, Linux, it will be able to see that CPU that's dual core as a quad core. It's a, it's a software thing. It splits it down the middle. And some CPUs support that. Some CPUs, actually, I think just Intel CPUs support Turbo Boost. I, th I think this was made by Intel, actually. It's, um, it's basically safe overclocking. So to understand Turbo Boost, you need to understand overclocking. Overclocking is whenever you go into the BIOS menu on your computer when you first get it, and you take that CPU to higher limits than it was designed for. Some CPUs are able to overclock safely, like some Intel calls their overclocking safe safe brand of CPUs, their line unlock CPUs, and that means that you can overclock. It's pretty much okay to overclock it. And Turbo Boost is kind of like overclocking, except it's safer because overclocking makes it run hotter, makes it run faster, works it harder basically. And most people who build their own computers do this, but not many people do it who just buy a computer at Apple or Best Buy or wherever you go. And Turbo Boost only overclocks whenever you need it to a certain speed. Let's say you're rendering a video in Final Cut Pro or Adobe After Effects, then it will overclock to a higher speed to get the job done quicker. And there's also cache on a CPU, which is like really fast RAM, so the data that's accessed the most they store on the CPU, and I'll talk about what RAM is in another video. So that's pretty much it for today's episode of this, and if you guys like it, leave a thumbs up, and stay tuned for more if you want to know more about computers. I'll see you later.